Being introduced to new data or a new database can be quite overwhelming. So in today's tip, we're going to talk about making use of an entity relationship diagram, specifically Crow's footnotation on how this may reduce the time in understanding new data or a new database. It's quick by time. All right, so over here we have a summary of the four different kinds of elements in Crow's footnotation. 1 or 0, 1 only 1, 0 or many, 1 or many. And I want you to pay attention to these different kinds of symbols representing each a different kind of uh, uh, notation here. So if we go to the actual entity relationship diagram that I have here, or ERD, um, this is dummy data that I also have made in SQL. And this is how the ERD looks like. Uh, so basically, uh, let's take, for example, the customers in accounts table, right? And we'll see that it is linked by the custom ID uh, within the custom IDs table. The custom ID is obviously the primary key, okay? Um, so now we see this representation here. That means one and only one. If we just go and remind ourselves of that, you'll see there one and only one. What that means is um, we only have one unique entry for each custom ID and um, there cannot be more than one. And now, so you see just for how I remember this is just the strike and only strike, one and only one, right? Uh, and then here we have this, this looks like a zero and this is, uh, well, this is where the crow's foot um, name comes from, this uh, sort of crow's foot kind of style here. And this means many, right? So here we have zero many. If we just look at the table again, or the illustration, uh, zero many. And what this means is um, on the custom ID uh, column in this accounts table, it is a foreign key, so we can have uh, no entry of a custom ID. So maybe say um, custom ID two can be missing, uh, but we can have many of maybe say, maybe custom ID three, maybe there's multiple entries of that. And um, that is Crow's foot notation.